I'm going to tell you something. You've got to have a tremendous work ethic to be successful in here. In other words, and you can relate to this, you've got to have a lot of dog in you. <laughs> you really do, man, if you want to be successful because it's, it's going to be a lot of trying times. So you have to have a tremendous work ethic. But you've got to have faith. Faith without works is dead. You hear it all the time. You go to church and you learn all these scriptures, but then you don't apply none of them to your life. You're looking at a man who has made the simple application of three or four scriptures and maxed them out to get here. I maxed out three, four scriptures to get here. I kid you not. I'll share them with you if you want to hear about them, but I maxed out three, four scriptures to get here. I'd love to tell you I'm the funniest person ever lived, but I ain't. Richard Pryor got that. I'd love to tell you I'm the greatest entertainer, but I ain't. Michael Jackson was that. I got all that, but they gone. So I probably am. But listen, man, but I, I gotta tell you something. If you could get a couple of things from me, if you could gather this piece of information. Albert Einstein said once, he said, imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attractions. Now, I want you to get this now. Imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attractions. Because if you think about it, everything you have, everything we have in this world, somebody imagined it. It's your ima imagination is tremendous. Somebody was sitting on the phone one day talking with a cord to the wall and said, man, I wish I could just go outside with this phone. Everybody in here got a cell phone. Somebody imagined that. Somebody got tired of riding in a wagon cross country from slavery to freedom. Somebody said, I wish we had something that made these wheels move by themselves. We drive cars. People got tired of driving from New York to LA. Somebody said, I wish we could fly. We got airplanes. Imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attractions. Your real life, the one God really got for you, is in your imagination. It is not in your current situation or your current paycheck. And if you've been living like that, you have then restricted yourself to a commonality that is really not yours. Because what really God got for you is really in your imagination. Now since there's a lot of church folk in here, let me tie that to a scripture. Because this one you really start affecting black folk. See, y'all don't really bleed nothing till you're tied to some type of church thing. So let, let's just go on and do that. And once again, before I start this, I am not a pastor or a preacher. So there is a scripture that Albert Einstein took this quote from. It's like the book, The Secret. The Secret is one of the top selling motivational books ever. But if you read the book, The Secret, it's all biblical. Everything comes from the Bible. You really don't need self-help books. You don't need the magic of thinking big, the power of positive thinking, how to win friends and influence people, think and grow rich, the winner's circle. I've read them all. All of that information is in Proverbs. All of it. But let me give you this scripture. You've all heard this, right? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So when I told you a minute ago, you gotta have a tremendous work ethic, but you gotta have a lot of faith. I talk to so many people who get older, like some of us are, and they've lost their faith. Well, faith is really simplistic. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, 